In this lecture, we go a little bit more deeply into the question of how one thinks about entering a foreign market in terms of its products and services. Do you adapt them specifically to the market preferences, or do you try to sell something that's national or that's global, the same product everywhere, if you will? Three different ways to think about this issue. It's what's called a multi-domestic strategy, operating as if you were a domestic company, but in multiple markets. A global strategy, which is um, having one product you try to sell globally, or a transnational strategy, which has a little bit of both of these elements in them. And let's talk about each of them a little bit more. The international strategy is essentially some idea of being an effective competitor in more than one country, two or more countries. That's what we mean when we say you have an international strategy. You're not just competing locally, you're competing in international markets. A multi-domestic strategy means you do that by essentially running two companies, one in each particular country. You might have multiple of them. You might have multiple businesses in, each, uh, in multiple countries. Um, but essentially, you are becoming an effective competitor domestically in each market you choose to enter. That means whatever the local preferences are, the buyer preferences, conditions, you're responsive to them, as if you were in complete control of your local environment. You think local, you act local, you are a local company, even though you're part of a larger international presence. You have an international strategy. Decentralized, very localized, think local, act local. That's the idea here of a um, multi-domestic strategy. The uh, opposite of that would be what's called a global strategy, which means that you act as one company globally, and you happen to sell in multiple countries. You have the same basic competitive approach. You have this, uh, a global cost structure to manufacture and distribute your products. You just happen to be selling them in Europe and in Asia and South America. Uh, in Africa, in the US, uh, in Canada, uh, Central America. You're selling products everywhere, but you're one big global country. Uh, you might think of this in terms of you think global and you act global. I am a global company. I sell a global product. That's the way to think about the global strategy. A kind of hybrid of those two is what's called a transnational strategy, where you think globally. That is, all the things we talked about in earlier lectures, about the various potentials offered by the value chain, the uh, political risks, the currency risks, the economic risk. That's all on your table. In your, uh, those are all parts or pieces of your game board as you plan out your strategy. So you're thinking globally, but in each of your markets, you act locally. That is, you go into the marketplace, you have the in the back office all the opportunity to take advantage of all of these global opportunities, but you are offering products and services that are uniquely defined and delivered into the global into the into the local national market. So from a customer perspective you might seem local, but from a competitive perspective you take advantage of all the opportunities afforded to you as a global firm. These uh, three strategies can be plotted. If you look at it, the global strategy on the one end, which simply means you think global, you act global. Um, on the other axis, it's, it, it's essentially uh, thinking about how the local market uh, is, is developed, how you compete locally, and you have the multi-domestic more out on that, that uh, axis. But between the two is this transnational strategy which um, in certain markets, certainly markets that have individual preferences in their, from their cultures and from their economic situation, um, a transnational strategy makes sense. You're taking advantage of both elements of, uh, of, uh, of the benefits of the international marketplace vis-a-vis -vis the local marketplace. So these are the three ways that you want to think. So when you're talking about an international strategy, you have all the palette we talked about earlier, all these macro items. You have these different ways to approach the market vis-a-vis -vis direct investment or whether you're importing, exporting, um, how you're handling those kinds of things with a joint venture or a partnership or you're doing it on your own. You have all of those sort of uh, uh, possible approaches. But then you, in terms of how you address the market with products and services, 
You're essentially trying to decide if you are taking advantage of the global situation and focusing on being a global firm or building yourself something locally so that you are satisfying, you're close to the customer, and you're satisfying local customer needs. And balancing those two, again, is one of the things that makes global competition so complex and difficult. In the next market, in the next lecture, we'll talk about how you bring all these things together to start think about, thinking about how you move parts around on the chessboard to build your competitive advantage. And that's what we'll talk about in the next lecture, lecture six.